Yeah, guys, so I want to make some cake. I've really missed a chocolate cake. So this is what I'm preparing right now. And I will also be doing some... Also be making some peanuts. Yeah, I have some peanuts in the, that have been laying here for a while. So I will also be roasting them. Yeah, so let's get started. We are making a chocolate cake. And this cake is very easy. Very, very easy. So the first thing that you need, I have here some... This is a cocoa powder. Cocoa powder. Let me show you the sachet. Guys, this is the cocoa powder that I'm talking about. Yeah, not the curry, but not the chocolate powder, the cocoa powder. So this is what I'm talking about. The one which is not sweetened. Yeah, so you need some cocoa powder and then you have some self-raising flour. Yeah, I've already measured my ingredients just to make my work simple here. And then you'll be using some sugar. This is the, the normal sugar, but you can use icing sugar. Just measure the same the same amounts that are required and you still uh, use the uh, icing sugar. But I didn't have icing sugar at hand, so I, I opted to go for the normal sugar. And then, guys, you have some vanilla essence. Yeah, I love vanilla. Vanilla essence, of course, it's you'll have it in every uh, cake that you're making. So I have vanilla essence. I have some salt. I'll be just adding a pinch of salt. I have my cooking oil. I have my cooking oil here. And then I have one thing that one of the things that is really important is milk. So I have my milk here, but I'll be warming this up because the recipe requires you to warm the milk. So I have the milk here. Yeah, so this is it for everything that you need to make your cake. So let's get started. Yeah, so guys, as the milk is warming up, I will be preparing my baking tins. Yeah, so I'm just getting my brush. Yeah, so here is my brush. As my milk is warming up, I'll be preparing the, the baking tins. Yeah, so you just, uh, they are called what? You just spread the oil. You just spread the oil. Yeah, so this step is very important. Yeah, so it ensures that you are, it ensures that you are, you are what, your cakes, they do not stick on the, on the tins. Yeah, so this is it. And then you can dust off with the, let me just show you that step. You can choose to dust off with the, with some cooking, with, with some hot. Guy, words are escaping my mouth. You can choose to dust it off with some flour. Yeah, so this is what I'll do. I said this step is really, really important. And so that is it. So I'll just spread the, the flour everywhere just like uh, the way i'm doing yeah so that is it and then i just return the excess flour onto that onto the other flour mixture so i'll do the same to this because i know i'll be baking um I'll be using also this baking tin. So the same process. Just spread your, your pan or spread your pan everywhere. Just like that. Then get some flour. Spread it over. And then dust it off. And your baking tins are now ready. So... My baking tins are now ready, so this is how they look like. And the other one is looking like this. So let's now mix everything. Yeah, guys, so I'm saying my milk is warm now. So I'll just pour it on this other baking, on this tin. And then, guys, we'll start mixing everything. I love my eggless, choc my eggless cake because they are easy to make. I do not need to beat them so much so they are easy to make. So I'll put in my sugar. I'll put in my sugar. 
I'll put in my um my oil, my cooking oil. This is vegetable cooking oil, and then I'll add I'll measure my vanilla essence. I'll measure my vanilla essence. Yeah, so this is it. So and then I'll add in my pinch of salt. Yeah, so I'll add in my pinch of salt. So this is it. So I'll just grab my whisk and I'll whisk. I'll mix everything here so that uh, the sugar dissolves. It has to dissolve when you're making this recipe. And it really dissolves quick because remember the, the oil, the, the milk is warm so the sugar will dissolve quicker. Yeah, so this is it. I'll now go ahead and um, put in my flour and I'll have to sift it. Yeah, so I'll just go ahead and sift in my flour. Guys, I told you the nini, the, um, this chocolate, these eggless cakes, they are very easy to make. So I love them so much and by the way I don't take eggs so in most of my baking I just use milk and some mala. Yeah and my cakes they always turn out amazing. Yeah so my my flour is in I'll now go ahead and sift in the cocoa powder. These steps helps to eliminate any lamb that might be there. Yeah, so like you see like this cocoa powder you see the lumps are too many so I'll just break them like this And that way my cake won't be having some lumps on it I'll Just grab my whisk So I'll mix until I do not have any lamp. Yeah guys, so our mixture is ready. I now want to transfer it to I want to transfer this to my baking to my baking tins and at this point my oven is now preheating at 180 degrees for 10 minutes so this one will take me a while because the mixture is a bit big yeah and the recipe recommends that so I just transfer my I'll just transfer my, my, my mixture here and then once I'm done, it will be just ready to go to the oven. I just wish I could have a better way of transferring this because this one will take me a whole. Yeah, let me finish up. So this one, I'm just making muffins and then I'll just um, tap it like that to, to remove the excess air. I'll tap it like that and then we we'll just put that one there. So I'll just transfer this other mixture. I'll transfer it to my baking tin. Yes, but there at this point the transfers they really get messy. I wish I could have another way. But I'll just work with what I have so. I'll transfer this to my baking tins. This is my bread, my bread tin, by the way. Yeah, it really does a good job. I love it. So we we'll have our muffins, and then we have our our cake here. Because the transfer did really get messy, and I hate it so much. So I have to wipe this out. So I'll tap this again to remove the excess there. And my oven now is hot. It's ready for the it's ready for for the baking.
yeah so i'm just removing the excess butter yeah so we are ready to go to the oven so i'll just put at a timer of 12, 30 minutes yeah so they'll be baking there for 30 minutes my heat is coming from above and below yeah so we'll be here to check our cakes after 30 minutes i now want to bake some peanuts yeah so i usually buy the peanuts from any cereal, cereal shop so i just want to sort them out first Yeah, you know sometimes these peanuts they have stones you find some they have stones so it's always good to sort your peanuts yeah so i just sort this out this one is really quick but depends on the ones we have gotten from the market there are ones which are really dirty the others which are not that dirty and for me today these ones are not that dirty so i just pick the rotten ones any unwanted uh, thing here i just cut it out yeah it has been a while since i ate some peanuts and for me, I, I prefer making my own because I feel like I adjust the salt according to how I like it. Yeah, so I love it when I make my own peanuts. I don't mind buying, but uh, for sure, for sure, I prefer making my own. You see, like the stones here, we have some stones. Yeah, so it's always, always good to sort your, your peanuts. The stones again. So the second step is to wash your peanuts. Just wash them to remove any dust. Of course they are usually dusty. So it's always advisable to wash your peanuts. But I see some people wanna sprinkle the water, but for me, I prefer washing it kabisa. <laughs> So guys, my peanuts are now done, and the next process is to add in your salt. Yeah, just like that. And then we'll give this a toast. So my baking tin is now ready. I now divide my. I now spread my. I now spread my peanuts. Yes. Just think I'll do one batch. Yeah, so I'll spread my peanuts like this. And my peanuts are ready to go to the oven. So I'll just put them in the oven right now. Remember my, my cakes are in the oven, but I'll just put it right now. And then once my cakes are done, I'll just remove my... I'll just add the timer to my peanuts. It's always advisable to put your peanuts in one layer. 
but actually for me today i won't do that because i don't want to 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 do them in two batches so i'll just do one batch but now that it's ready i'm just going to put it in the oven and now bake it for 20 minutes on before I, or 20 minutes and then after 20 minutes i'll toast again so it's ready to go to the oven and my cakes are in there so i just put the peanuts in and then once my cakes are ready i'll add in i'll add in i'll add the timer again so that the, the peanuts can cook fully yeah So I'm just giving my groundnut a toast after the past 20 minutes. So my 20 minutes are gone. I'll just turn them and then put them back in the oven for another 20 minutes. And here they cook fully until they are ready. So I'm just turning the peanuts uh, so that they can cook on both sides. So my timer has run out. I want to check if they are done inside. Yeah, so my knife is coming out clean. Yeah, so our muffins are ready. Mama. Mama. Yeah, guys, so our muffins are ready. Let's now check the the bread. No, the bread is it isn't ready. So I'll just go add in some the timer. I've added 20 minutes in because the peanuts are in so I've just added in 20 minutes but after 10 minutes I'll just check the I'll just check the bread okay so our muffins are out of the oven yeah so they are done by the this one takes around 25 to 30 minutes so it's a very it's a short time yeah and you see they are done I said when you when you butter your um, your baking tin or when you grease your baking tin and then you apply the the flour the cakes will just come off easily on themselves you see yeah i'm not even struggling just uh, you just do it slowly and then your cake will will just come out you see your muffin will just come out yeah so yeah i'm quite happy with what i've made but one of the questions that i keep on asking myself every time that i make this these chocolate cakes they always they always tend to crack here on the top side yeah so i usually ask myself what the reason for that so if you know you can just tell me because i measured everything correctly so i don't know why they crack and my 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 heat was also was also not high because I baked this at 180 degrees. Yeah, so if you have if you know the reasons why my cake they keep on cracking, you can tell me. You can tell me, you can tell me. So this is it. So we also have the other one. Yeah, so are ready they are out of the oven <clears throat> one of the ways to know your, your peanuts are ready is by that crackling sound you hear that yeah that one tells you they are ready if you don't get that sound just know they are not yet ready yeah so this is how i love my peanuts i love them well done yeah so from here i just allow them to cool and then i'll have them for breakfast tomorrow morning god keeping us sound and safe so i'll see you on another day yeah so this is the following morning and I want to serve my breakfast and I'm just putting my peanuts in my bowl. 
So I'll be having this with some tea. And by the way, tell me, my people, do you remove the skin of the peanuts while you are while you are eating them, especially the ones you have made from home? For me, if the peanuts are made from home, I do not peel the skin because I know of how I've handled it. I know how I've cleaned it. So hygiene at home is really top notch. So I do not uh, remove the skin of the peanuts while um, I'm eating them. But if I buy the ones from the roadside, those ones, obviously, I have to remove the skin because I do not know how they were handled. Anyway, leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know how you... You like your peanuts do you keep the skin do you peel it off please let me know in the comment section i was really tempted to have two queen cakes uh two muffins this morning but i just remembered that the peanuts are really filling and i just uh just ate one and for sure i was full for the rest of the day yeah so on the other side now i'm making some strong tea and for sure most of the time i do not take like taking my tea with milk so i prefer uh, my tea without milk so this is strong tea as we commonly call it here in kenya and then i just take it without sugar so what i add in my cup is only some drinking chocolate or sometimes i'll go with the milo and then i'll just have it like that and without sugar without sugar and that's how i like it yeah We are coming to the end of the video my people and thank you so much for sticking around until the end of it i'm so grateful that you are here i'm so grateful that you came back to watch another video yeah thank you so much so give this video a like yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed leave a comment on the comment section and you those who are in a position to share i would gladly appreciate if you do so yeah so this is just it for the video and um yeah i'll see you on my next one guys until then bye